Hello and welcome to a new video about my temperature controller thing here. First of all, I realized one mistake I've done uh, here. In the code where I read in the process temperature, I just just written zero. But however, I of course need to use this temperature sensor here. Index. We have, we can configure this. Yeah. And I will need the process temperature here. Huh? Now we should read in the configured the correct. Right now we didn't notice because it was it was the same thing. Okay. The actual goal, what we want to achieve today, is we want to make the mode selectable. So if we're in manual mode, if we're in switching mode, or if we're in PID mode. Okay, we want to make this selectable. I want to use the star button here. Yeah? I want to use the star button of, of this to select. Yeah? And I want to have it displayed some here, which one I want to select. And then with enter the D button, book, I have to confirm this. Yeah? And then actually it's changed. This is so that we're not already changing that I can scroll through and then change, right? So that would be the goal. So, if we are here in menu main, huh, then we have to take care about the star button, I said. Huh? Here, break. Break case key star break. I have now two status. Yeah? So I will have a more actual status and then I will add a status to And this I will initialize with the same, the same. Okay. I will initialize with the same. And every time we press the star button, we want to change the status to. <laughs> right. So how to do this? Simply coded, I would say. If bit read status two, and the bit is where I have the I/O bits here, I should have the status manual. So if we are manual, we do the following action: we make a bit clear. Oops. Status to manual. So we are clearing the manual mode. All right. And then we make a bit set. Status to. And we are setting a uh, next one is switch. Good. Now I want also to have this displayed. I want that somebody can read what we have done here. So actually I will use here a string. And I will call this string overlay text. And in the beginning it shall be nothing. I'll make a timeout, overlay, timeout, hmm, how long, and let's make one and a half second maybe, overlay, timeout, one and a half second, okay, 
I will make now void output overlay. I will also call byte column byte row that I can define where. And this output overlay will simply uh, set cursor. A LCD of course, LCD dot set cursor to column and row exactly where I want to have it and then we will print all the overlay text. Huh? Now that we've printed the overlay text, we will set the overlay timeout to now. Okay. Overlay, output overlay will output the overlay wherever it, I want to have it and set the overlay timeout. And in down here, I just have to react on this. If overlay text is not like nothing, eh? So if there is something, was something output, and overlay timeout is timed out, then I will again make the switch menu position. And in case I am in menu main, I will call output main. So that this should clear, this should clear the overlay. And the overlay text I will set to nothing because then I will not run into this, then I will not again and again and again and again put it out. I think this should at least display the overlay. So here where I am changing this here, yeah, yeah, I have to set the overlay, overlay text to switch output overlay where do I put it out? So I put it out at main page has main 4, 8, 10 I will also put it out at 12 and 0 good where is it red? Here probably I have forgot Okay Switch Then I will just have to copy this huh? I think we are now should now be able If we are in Switch We will go to PID now we'll delete switch and go to PID and then if we are in PID we'll delete PID and go to manual So let's let's see if I upload this now. If we have the overlay displayed at least, we are not changing already something. Yeah, we I just want to see if the overlay is coming. If it can change the overlay, so I will use here this 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 star button. Manual. No, I cannot change it. Let's 
just manual. But it, will it disappear? It disappears. Okay. 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 What is wrong? Star. If bit. Ooh, of course. Else. Or I will just make it the other way around. I'm always running into the list because I'm setting to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. The if is then always already fulfilled. Yeah? Ah, execution order, execution order, execution disorder it is. Yeah? I changed simply. I changed simply the, the, the sequence here. Yeah. Now it should work. Switch. Huh? Disappears. Switch. <laughs> Can I go further? Can I go further? What is this? Yes. Why is that? I always have the same problem. I need to do here the L's. I need to do here the L's. The L's. The execution order did not Yeah, they should now They should now Now, but now it's working <laughs> Ooh, ugly, ugly Yeah, these things are because if you want to know how it is working and you do not think to the end, switch, okay? Switch disappearing. PID, manual, ah, now I can. Now I can select something. All right. And if, the, if we are on time yeah, and we press the D button, I want then that the status is really updated. Uh, so now I have the status too. And in case we press the D button, break. Never forget the break because then you can also get lucky effects. Uh, or a simple right here, if Overlay timeout the timed out if not. Yeah. So this means we press the D button in time. Yeah. Then I really need to, to copy the status to to the status. But only I only want to copy these four bits, these last four bits. So I will, this on and off, I do not have to touch. Yeah? I only need to, to copy a switch, PID or manual. This here, this on and off, I do not want to change. Okay, how to do this? Because this is zero, this is zero in the, in the, in the status too. I will make it status2 yeah, equals status2 and now I will mask it. I will do a bitwise end yeah, and I will delete the seventh bit. These I accept, whatever they are, yeah, and the last ones I also delete again. Okay? Then I only have those three bits inside and all others are zero. Okay? Then I will make a status. 
I will delete in status exactly exactly these bits. Yeah? So here this shall stay, this shall be deleted, and one, two, three, four, this shall also stay. Yeah? I masked now two, and then I can make an end. So the status equals status and bitwise end of status two. Yeah? Now only Yeah. Now only, only those three bits should have been copied to status, uh, bitwise operation. Yeah. So now call display, now output status it was called, right? Output status. Output status, of course, because I've updated it. And now we'll also call output main. This will delete. This will delete uh, the overlay. Hmm. Upload. I always forget to clear the overlay of this, but I think you've seen. Okay, now we're in manual mode. Huh? I can turn off and on the heating, yes. Now I'm pressing the star button. Maybe I should move it a little bit. Can I... ah, it's hard to see. It's hard to capture. Ooh. Okay. See, star button, switch. I've not changed it. Huh? Star button, PAT, manual, switch. I now enter. Ah, maybe to PAT, enter. Ooh, it changed to PAT mode. <laughs> manual, change it to manual. And if I turn it on, oh, it's parameters, temperatures, maybe. If I turn on, yeah, uh, poo, 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 poo. now I want to change to, to, to switch. switch. Hmm? What was this? Switch. Ah, you see, this stayed on. This stayed on. So this is really working, this masking. This masking is really, really working. Okay, that's good. That's good. I think. Good, good, good. So now I can select. Now I can select the mode. All right. And if we're in manual mode. Maybe the status too, it would be a good idea that we set it to status. Here, if the overlay text disappears, uh, I will set the status to, to status. This is good. Because then I will, every time I will scroll away from my actual thing. Maybe one and a half seconds. I f it feels a little bit short. Huh? So we'll change this to two seconds. But that's just fine tuning. Right? That's just fine tuning. Uh, I also want to, to enter a new value. Alright? So this, this is the next step task I want to do yeah? so that if we are in manual mode I want to to change the correcting value okay this we will do in next video okay? now we can change the mode it doesn't really change anything but only the LEDs however if we are in manual mode I also want to change the correcting variable Let's see how we can do this in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.